to earn your property adjuster certificate recognized by a growing list of IA firms, get everything you need to get started as an independent property adjuster, head on over to adjustertv.com slash path. In this video, you'll learn all about how to maintain your adjuster license with continuing education training starting now. This is Adjuster TV. Hey, it's Matt here with Adjuster TV. For the best tips and tools for getting on the first call list as an independent adjuster, subscribe now. Click on the bell notification so that you'll never miss a video. Want to know how you can survive your first ever storm deployment? Check out the How to Survive Your First Storm Deployment webinar. Register for free at adjustertv.com slash thrive. And thanks to Abraham Lincoln from US History who says, always bear in mind that your own resolution to succeed is more important than any one thing. Thanks for watching, Abraham Lincoln. So you've got your home state or designated home state adjuster license, and you've got several reciprocal state licenses in the places you'll be working, plus the fabled New York license. Well, those licenses are only good for a year or two, depending on the state. So just like your driver's license, you have to re-up in order to keep your license current. So how do you do that? It's pretty simple. You have to apply to renew your license which is just a few mouse clicks, right? But you also have to show that you're keeping your skills and knowledge about insurance fresh and up to date. So you also have to spend a little bit of time and money taking insurance related courses on your own time. It's called continuing education or CE. It doesn't take a whole lot of time to take these courses, but if you wait until the last minute before you start taking your CE before renewing, you'll be sorry. Trust me on this one. I definitely can speak from experience. It will take you longer than you think to get through all 24 credit hours to keep your license current. Do yourself a favor and take your CE in little bite-sized chunks through the year so that when it comes time to renew your license, it's all done and all you have to do is do the clicky thing on the computer and boom, you're done. Okay, so what are CE courses like? They can be literally anything related to insurance or claims handling. A good way to knock off one or a couple of CE hours is with an ethics course, of course. You can take courses about damage assessment, construction, heavy equipment on the auto side, and yes, it will count towards your license if you're a property adjuster because your adjuster license will generally license you for auto as well, depending on the state. You can take courses on commercial general liability. Nearly every adjuster convention or conference will offer presentations that count for CE, which is another reason to go to as many adjuster conferences as possible. You can also go to adjustertv.com slash adjusterpro where you're gonna find links to CE packages for each state. You pay a small fee, and then you're given all the courses you need to cover that state. But there are many ways to get CE. Okay, now the big question. If I have 12 licenses, do I have to take CE for every single one of those licenses? 12 times 24 is 288 hours. I mean, that's, that's a lot. The good news is, is no. All you have to do is buy the package for your home state or designated home state license and take that CE. When you go to renew your other reciprocal licenses, that CE will count. Pretty straightforward. Question of the day. Have you gotten your New York license? Would you be willing to share how involved the process for applying is in the comments? Let us know how long it took, etc. I think a lot of folks could definitely benefit from that. And for much more information about crushing it as an independent adjuster, head on over to adjustertv.com. If you got value from this video, you can help me create more videos just like this by subscribing to Adjuster TV on YouTube. Wondering what to watch next? There are tons more videos right here on the Adjuster TV YouTube channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm.